Rarely do you get the ultimate in power, speed, and performance on the same device, but LG has done just that with the G2X. Utilizing NVIDIA's dual-core Tegra 2 processor, this phone blazes through the latest games and apps, all on a beautiful 4-inch touchscreen. You'll even get 4G connectivity, plus front and rear-facing cameras, so pick up this Android-powered monster for free with a contract. The latest batch of Android phones have super-sized screens. This one isn't quite that big, about four inches. Yeah. Uh, is that a good thing? Um, well, I, I think that the, when it comes to smartphones, smaller is still a little bit better. It's something that you're probably going to slip into mm -hmm. a pocket, so you don't want to be too bulky. But this is a good size. Me. No, this one's all right. It's noticeably bigger and thicker than the iPhone, but the screen is a little bit larger as well, and it feels solid. Uh, mm -hmm. I think this is one of the nicer-looking Android phones that we've seen, actually. It's also a lot smaller and lighter than my phone. <laughs> Mine yeah. is a monster. You basically have a suitcase phone <laughs> from the 80s. That's what you I have. <laughs> It looks like you ripped yours out of the center console Especially of the limo. Especially with my extended battery, it's yeah. ridiculous. Now, some Android phones also have a reputation for coming preloaded with extra software and widgets. Mm -hmm. How many awesome social widgets does the G2X have? I'm proud to report exactly zero. Nice. I'm I don't need AOL free trials on my phone. No, I don't annoying. need any of that crap. Yeah, it's running stock Android 2.2, which means no widgets, no crappy uninstallable NASCAR app, uh, no two gigabyte avatar movie that gets in your way. Mm -hmm. uh, the interface is fluid, it's responsive, and most of all, it gets out of your way so you can get things done, like looking at YouTube videos. Very like important. It. it also has the new dual core Tegra 2 processor, so does that mean it's noticeably faster than other Android phones? It does, Candace Bailey. Oh, yeah, we gave, I the, so. we gave the G2X a workout with 3D games where you, uh, you need for speed. Right here, you're seeing Cordy. And Cordy is known for stuttering. And this is the first time in our tests that we didn't see a single skip or Nothing. stutter or drop frame while playing Cordy. Y'all hear that? No stutters. Yeah, that, I hope y'all heard that. We were fixing to get it to stutter. I mean, we used to could without the uh -uh. phones. We got no stutters, y'all. Uh, but the Tegra 2 processor handles it well, and it handles Flash well. Um, as you can see right there, most videos played with little or no lag, and the browser is still fairly responsive even Look while that. Flash is loading. Yeah, That's incredible. Yeah. You could have a 12-core processor, and our website will make it cry. The fact that a cell phone <laughs> ran it well is, is pretty awesome. Uh -huh. Now, there are other true. features that take advantage of the faster processor. Uh, I'm glad you asked, Candace. Oh. Uh, yes. Good. The G2X, here's the thing, it has full HDMI out, which I would hate if somebody ever tried to get behind my entertainment system to, to play a video from their cell phone, but you can play back 1080p cool. videos, even on a 62-inch plasma, and it will look as good as a Blu-ray player. It's full 1080p out. Browsers. It also has DLNA support, which to me is even more important, so you can stream HD videos to devices like a PS3, a media center, a Google TV if you have it. That's cool to do it wireless. Fabulous. Yeah, I can tell that. Smartphones. <laughs> you can slow clap it. No one's going to join you, but you can. Oh. Hey, I started the slow clap. <laughs> no, stop it, Kevin, stop it. Now, smartphones have pretty much replaced cameras. You're such a jerk. <laughs> Turning my picture off. So, uh, how did the videos and pictures look? Uh, they look good. We actually we recorded some questionable videos at full 1080p and they came out looking as good as most handheld video camera. Uh, that's a whiz pistol. That's, this um, is so weird. It's, a, it's really a commentary on America. Uh, it's someone filling a water gun with cheese whiz. So make your own euphemism. I don't care. Um, it doesn't squirt. The, Ew. Yeah, there we go. It's delicious, Gross. though. The rear-facing camera is 8 megapixels, and our pictures came out better than average. Images were that's sharp right with there. low noise. Yeah, well, in daylight, you can see there the colors are a little washed out, and some photos not so bad. Yeah. Um, there's also a... Oh, no, that's gorgeous. Oh, yeah? Gorgeous. You, you want to go to the screen and sniff it? I do. Get it up there. Uh, there's also a front-facing 1.3 megapixel camera for video chat, if you're so inclined. Cool. I am inclined. Now, this phone also runs on T-Mobile's 4G network and is completely free if you're a new customer. Yes. Free. Free. And sign up for a two-year plan. So, at that price, what are we giving it? Uh, at that price, it's a five out of five. Yes! Yeah. Five out of five. This is the Android phone to beat. T-Mobile's network is blazingly fast, and you can't argue with that price if you're a new customer. All right. That's it for today's Gadget Prom. But if you have a gadget you'd like to see us rate, email us at gadgetprom at g4tv.com. All right. Thanks, Street Bailey. <laughs>